Well, hello, and welcome to the first core day. Oh, uh, you know what? Ain't nobody needs to see this bag or this thing of Pringles back there, right? I already got crap for that today on my morning show. Before we kick things off, I got a lot of people asking, is this show going to be available via the core RSS audio feed? And the answer is today's will. But part of the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to ask the audience at large, including you guys here today, do you want the audio version of this daily in the core audio feed? If you do, I'm happy to do it. Would you prefer a separate feed that you would have to go and subscribe to with your podcast players? I'm fine with that too. I just don't know how many people are going to be, this is more convenient versus this is more convenient. So let me know in the comments. I'll put up a poll. We'll figure this out. Okay. But for today, you're getting the first one there and you're also getting the video. So everybody wins or loses. Everybody loses or something. Okay. I don't know how familiar you are with the Dead by Daylight series or it's just a game. There's no series, but uh, the Dead by Daylight game is very popular and people play it a lot. And uh, as it turns out, it's very successful. So we have some news around everybody's favorite multiplayer asymmetrical horror game. There are two new Dead by Daylight games in development. Behavior Interactive is expanding the Dead by Daylight franchise and creating two new games set in the same universe. One is a narrative-driven game while the other is a multiplayer one, more of a PvE sort of thing. The narrative-driven game will be uh, headed by Supermassive Games, best known for developing Until Dawn, The Quarry, and Dark Pictures Anthology. Here's what they have to say, by the way. We've been working hard to blunt the tension, agency, and branching storytelling of a Supermassive game to together with Dead by Daylight's mythology to create an intense narrative experience filled with powerful life or death choices. That is from Supermassive Games executive producer Tracy Tuffle. The multiplayer game, on the other hand, is being developed by Midwinter Entertainment, best known for the multiplayer survival game Scavengers. Never played it. The game is a PvP experience where instead of players facing off against each other, up to four players team up and enter one of the entity's realms and fight off enemies. Supermassive Games said that it will reveal more information about this game later this year, while Midwinter Entertainment said its project is still in the very early stages. Speaking of Dead by Daylight, did you guys hear this news about Nicolas Cage joining the game? There's nothing more powerful than imagination. shape the fabric of reality, transforming everything you may think you know. I guess we'll hear more about that on July 5th, so stay tuned. My quick take on this, I don't like horror games much, but when you have multiplayer components, I like them a little more. Uh, it's a little less insane and a little more fun to get scared with your friends. So I'm all for this uh, PvP thing. So bring that on. The single player game. Eh. Eh. Let's do today's text. Somebody sent a text into 801-471-0462 and it went like this. Scone74 says, hey, Scott, stoked about Core Daily. I had a question. Why do you have the same poster twice behind you? Keep up the great work. Well, he's talking about these, that one and that one. Can you guys see those? There and there. Those are both, uh, that's artwork I did and printed. And um, I don't have a good answer. I don't know why they're both up on the wall. I don't remember doing it. I think I would have noticed that I was putting one of the same thing, just sort of juxtap you know, juxtaposed a little bit to the bottom left of it or right or whatever that is to you. I don't remember doing this. Speaking of spooky games, ooh, what, who possessed Scott when he put up two posters that were the same? We may never know. And now, watch Bo from the Core Podcast discover a giant worm for the first time in his VR playthrough of No Man's Sky. And we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I, maybe I, oh, maybe I just gotta reinstall some of my shit. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Ow.